height. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope your life is doing well. I hope you're letting God lead your life and um, you're happy. And yeah, um, I have been feeling pretty stressed this morning, just today. Um, and I find that through that, I'm turning to God, which is the best decision. And that's something we should all be doing. Um, I was going to read something in Matthew, and then my page just flipped. So, okay, Holy Spirit, I'm going to read <laughs> this verse instead. It's Matthew um, 11, 28. And then Jesus says to us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And that verse is just so beautiful because he's telling us, he's telling me who is anxious and afraid and my mind is swirling to just come to Jesus and he will give me rest. And he does, he really does. And that's the same for you, whatever it is you're going through, I just want to tell you to go to Jesus, turn to God and not this world because nothing in this world will help you. Nothing in this world will help you. I know you're going to think, oh, I'll just go my phone and distract myself. That's not going to help you. Or talking to different people. I know Holy Spirit can speak through people. And whether it's a Christian counselor you're talking to, or a Christian mentor, or a friend, or a family member. Obviously, Holy Spirit can speak through those people, and they really can help. But I'm just saying, I don't think we will find permanent satisfaction unless we turn to Jesus ourselves. Permanent healing unless we turn to Jesus ourselves. Because that's what Jesus is telling us, and the Bible doesn't lie. And if it's in the Bible, we can't switch it to conform to the patterns of this world. So Jesus is telling us, come to me. Come to Jesus, all who are weary and burdened. And I will give you rest. That's Jesus saying. What is this Jesus? Come to me. Come to Jesus, all of you who are weary and burdened, all of you who are tired and exhausted and burnt out and just feel done. And Jesus will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Jesus says, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. We'll find rest. We'll find peace. We'll find peace has us all understanding in Jesus. He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You don't have to feel like a burden when you come to Jesus. You don't have to feel afraid. You don't have to feel anxious because he's just such a loving father. First of all, we're saved because of his sacrifice and because he just loves us. Um, and we gotta come to Jesus, come to our father and he will give us rest. And prayer is so powerful as well. And putting on the armor of God is so important. I talked about that a few times. But man, is it important. Guarding our thoughts and asking God to just be with us. And Holy Spirit to guide us through this day. And to be our advocate. Just like Jesus called Holy Spirit to be. So we can receive him on earth as an advocate. And just... To keep our eyes on God. To not conform to the pattern of this world. To be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That's in Romans. I just don't know the verse by heart. But, um, yeah. Look to Jesus. Keep your eyes directly on God. Directly on Jesus. Um, a few, like a week or two ago, I was at church. And then I was worshiping. And God gave me a vision. I was on my knees. And Jesus was holding my shoulders like this. And he was just... He didn't say anything, but I could feel that he was saying in spirit, keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. I saw his bright blue eyes and his face, and I had to keep my eyes on him, and I kept going like this, and he would say, no, keep your eyes on me. And that's really stuck with me, and I really think it could help other people to know that God is just calling us to keep our eyes on him. Because in this world, there are so many distractions and so many fears and anxiety and 
it's hard living in this world. It's really hard and it's hard adulting. It's hard to make decisions. Um, it's hard to know right from wrong and God's will from our will and God's plans from our plans and God's wants from our wants. But, but I feel like God is just reminding all of us if we're walking with him, if we're, you know, reading our word and spending time with him, whether that's reading a devotional or in prayer, worship, if we're spending our day with Jesus and keeping our eyes on him, we're not going to fall out of his path because he'll be right there to guide us and I feel like we'll feel when we're just like, ooh. And even if we are like, ooh, he's going to forgive us and help us through that time and lead us through it to bring us back on track for his glory. Um, there's nothing he can't do. There's nothing you've done that will ever lead him away from you. He just loves you so much. And yeah. Come to God. Those who are weary and burdened, he will give you rest. Rest for our souls, rest for our minds, spirit, thoughts, hearts. Because life is hard and it's stressful and change is scary. It's uncomfortable. Making adult decisions is scary. Um, and just even being busy is scary for some people. For me, for me, it's scary. Um, But God's with me, and he's with you. And 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, For God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. So what does that mean? The spirit God put inside of us when he made us, the spirit that's in you, the spirit that's in me, doesn't have fear. There's no fear in it. That's sin. When sin entered the world, that's where fear came in. But God's spirit he gave us that was from heaven above to put in this body on earth doesn't have fear in it. We have a spirit of love, power, and timidness, sound mind, tranquility. There's no fear in our spirit. So where's that fear coming from? The enemy. So, turn towards God. Keep your eyes on him. And he'll heal your spirit. He'll guard your thoughts. And yeah, just please keep turning towards Jesus. Don't run away. He's got you. He loves you. He's here to help you. We're not alone. You're not alone because I am afraid. I'm nervous. I'm anxious. You know, I, I'm, I'm nervous for my life and the future. I'm very nervous about that. It does freak me out. Um, but I do know that when I'm weak. God is strong. I know that he is sovereign. I know he has me in his hand. And he's guiding my life. And I have to focus on today, our daily bread, to not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has enough troubles of its own. Focus solely on the Lord. Because the Lord is my strength.